if you're anything like me, you probably love having flowers in your house and candles in your house. Well, today, Orly is here to show us some impressive ways to bring both of those together as if they had a baby because we are making <laughs> pressed flower candles. It's so beautiful. Orly. Aren't those cool? Really cool. I mean, they are real. the detail and the color and something about them just being on within the candles, the warm flame. It just feels really special and beautiful. It really I love does. it. And you know, I'm a huge fan of pressed flowers. I love them so much. And I, I feel like it runs in my family. My Aunt Joy, my mom's sister, she's the joyful artist on Instagram. And I can't recommend following her enough. You'll see some photos of the work that she creates. She has this insane garden. Yeah. And she will pick all of this from her own garden and go through the process of making artwork. Oh. She will make full on pictures with just art. She made my cousin's wedding cake with pressed flowers in the cake. I mean, she's incredible. And so I feel like the whole pressed flower thing is, it's, it's in my blood. It's in your DNA. Yeah. For certain, my goodness, she's amazing. Isn't and those cool? are all her flowers. She's not buying any of those. Her garden. Okay, I love you, Aunt Joy. She's I know. really, she's joyful like that. <laughs> she so is. you are gonna bring some joy into our home today yeah. by showing us how to make these. Now, is there a specific candle we need to look for when we're making our pressed flower candles? So that's sort of like a yes and a no answer. Um, I think that doing them on the LED candles is a really great thing because they're never gonna burn down. Okay. So you're gonna have them forever. They do have wax on the outside and now they've got the flickering wick. So like they look beautiful and you'll have them forever. Okay. You can absolutely do them on all wax candles. Just be aware that some of them might melt from the outside and eventually might lose a little floral okay. situation. Okay, so it just depends on what you want. Absolutely. Really. Okay, now how do we add the flowers to the candle, no matter what candle it is? Exactly, so there's two ways of doing it. One is if you want a design that's something like this, which you can see is like the cascading rainbow, it's very specific in its placement, that's very cool. specific in its design, I actually recommend using glue for this. So you have a little E6000 there. Okay. E6000 is kind of overkill, you don't need it, it's just that you can get really precise with it. Okay. But if you have a different kind of glue at home, that's fine. Now you wanna figure out sort of what your design is gonna be and just get a general sense of it. You don't don't need to lay them all out. It's you know not that easy on a rounded candle, but come up with your general idea. But I I do know that from you. Put exactly. Your, you put the design down and then glue, so you're not peeling things. Precisely. Off. Okay. Now, what I would do is make sure that you see if your flower has a right or a, a front or a back, that you're putting just a drop of glue. An E6000, sometimes a fresh bottle, will sort of ooze out on its own, as you can see. You want a tiny bit everywhere. Okay. Anywhere that you get excess, just use your finger to wipe it off and you can actually use that excess and kind of put it right on the stem. Now, I'm gonna lay it down exactly where I want it and just kind of hold for a minute like this until it sort of fuses in. You don't want a lot of glue, just a little bit to hold down all of the edges. Okay. Once you have that one, you would do the exact That's same nice. thing and you'd move on to the next one. No. A drop on all the little leaves, a, a few on the stems, a little dabble do ya. Exactly. And I'll if say this, they're very fragile, so yes. be careful because they might break on you, right? They might. That's why using the tweezers is really good or using some of the flowers that feel a little hardier. You'll see that some flowers have kind of like a nice hardiness to them and aren't as delicate. Those are ones that are much easier. Otherwise, use your tweezers. And just be really gentle. You can always go back in. So like, let's say for now, I say, okay, I like the way that looks. Maybe I'm going to add a couple of green. I could leave this so that it dries and then sort of really smooth it out later, but at least I've got my design working. Okay, well, I'm gonna continue to do mine over yes. here with the E6000. You have another way to do it that's a little more high tech. Yeah, this is actually really cool. So this is some wax paper here. I've got the wax side facing up towards me and it's cut to the right length of my candle. Now, what you wanna do is start laying out your design. And for this one, be really specific that you're doing the design upside down. So you're gonna take any of the pieces that you have, right? This, you can see there's a right and a wrong side. I make sure to put it wrong side down because this is how they're gonna be applied. And I'm just gonna create a rough design just like this. Now let's say that's how I want it. Now I'm gonna take my candle and I'm gonna lay it on. Nothing has been glued or heated at all. Take this side and sort of roll it over. Now take this side up and over with some tape to hold it nice and taut. Now we're gonna take our heat gun. You can use- Could you uh, use a blow dryer? You could use a blow dryer. Just do it on high heat but low like pressure, like low airflow and you're just gonna keep rotating all the way around. And Deb, if your hands are not too sticky, you can actually yeah. peel off and show what it ends show up what looking it like. like. 
You keep rotating so nothing melts too much, but it just warms oh. it. Whoa! Look at that. And it fuses oh it. Isn't that oh, cool? That is so beautiful. And that's it. Orly. I know. I it's pretty so major. Happy. That is really great. Wow. Look at that. Big fan of your work, Orly. Big fan of your work. Cheers. 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 For full instructions, you all head on over to hallmarkchannel.com.